All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one. And now today, I'm going to be rambling. I don't know. I don't really have a, a plan of what I want to say, but let me let me just talk. Maybe we can turn it into video. Maybe we can. I don't know. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button. Come on. How many times I got to tell you guys to do this? All right, anyway, let's, let's get into it. So right now, there's a little bit of drama happening in the FGC. So let me just give you a backstory. It's not what I want to talk about, but Red Bull Kumite is happening next month. We're, we're only talking about Guilty Gear right here, but it's an eight-person invitational tournament so already you know it's gonna be a blow up anytime there's an invitational there's gonna be drama beyond the summit like beyond the summit basically every invitational red bull event that happened every kumite event it's always like why didn't this person get in why did this person get in blah 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 blah, blah. but the the big one this time is that sonic fox just got announced and invited as the newest guilty Gear player and we know for a fact that hotashi did not get invited so hotashi if you're not familiar he won EVO. So he won EVO, which so far has been, you know, like the biggest Guilty Gear tournament right there. He's also won a bunch of other events, without a doubt, one of the strongest players in America. Loves the game, does all sorts of like streaming and stuff for it. Didn't get invited. Sonic Fox, another absolute top player, but also a player who kind of bad mouse drives. So the game is boring. They're not a fan of it. Did get invited. So people are like, what the hell? Red Bull, what the hell's going on? Why would you invite, you know, Sonic over Hitachi? Blah, 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 blah. One of the reasons why is that, you know, the invites got early. You know, Sonic might have got invited three or four months ago. We don't know. Either way, that's not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is the fallout from that. It, it made me think about, you know, what happened to the FGC? Something is missing big time right now from the FGC. What is it, man? What What is missing right here? Dark Prince. So Dark Prince is missing from... No, I'm joking. If you don't know who this is, this is a, a, an old school player, Dark Prince. He's, he's the face, one of the many faces of Money Match. So, you know, money matches in FTC used to be kind of synonymous, right? Back in the day, SRK days, money matches were huge, right? And I'm not talking like the amount of money, because a lot of times it'll only be like $100. $100 was a big-ass money match back in the day. Even like a $50 money match. Like, damn, that's a big money match. Let's go. But yeah, money matches were so ingrained in the FTC as ways of, you know, either settling bad blood, insulting each other on, on, on the forums, or maybe if you lost a player in a tournament and you feel like you shouldn't have got lost right there, again, calling them out for the money match and doing that. Or just determining who's who's the stronger player of the stronger region. But they were so, so common and it's such a great part of the FTC. And they're kind of gone right now. This is one of the old big money matches right here. This is a $15,000 one that happened way back in the day between Clockwork and Neo. But there were a couple big money matches like this, big Marvel ones that were like 10K, 15K. But we also just had another one. I don't have a picture right here, but Justin, like a month ago, had a 10K money match with a player named Roundhouse, who's a kind of like a newer school player. Justin won. Panda boys, we did it. Justin, let me get let me get a cut of that. And then we also had a really hype money match with Hotashi that I mentioned earlier. Hotashi and Marn, and then Hotashi and Punk. Shout out to Yipes. By the way, Yipes is the one who kind of set that up. But like, those, those events were so hype. They were so hype. Everyone got involved in the FGC. Everyone, it was, it was great. A lot of money, change hands. But it also kind of opened up my eyes on like why the money matches don't exist anymore. Why they don't exist. So again, let's get back to the main topic here. The fallout from the Hotashi and uh, Sonic Fox invitation drama is that a player came out of right field. Flash Metroid, an OG OG, really old, really OG. He's around back when I used to be active, like, you know, how long ago was that? Almost 20 years, 20 years or, or, or so. He came out of nowhere because he's friends with Hotashi and says, Sonic Fox, you're free. You know, Sonic Fox, you do not deserve it. It's whack that you got invited to it. He said, I think 50 players better than you in America. And he listed himself five. That was mad funny. He, he, he hit him with a dial on, dial on, dial on, dial on. But he's like, players that can kick your ass. He's like, Flash Metroid, Flash. Peter Sassini, F Metroid. So he he said directly to Sonic Fox's face, you know, I'm better than you. I can beat you. That that confidence, you know, that call out is God. Like that's something that's gone. That is something that we do not see in the FGC nearly as much as we used to see. Like the direct call outs, not afraid of you. I'll do it. And of course, Sonic Fox not one to back down from a challenge, you know. We have a little bit of a discussion right here. So Hotashi leading the way. He's like, man, I want to see Flash and, and Sonic run it. I got $100. Sonic says, let's run it. Flash says, yeah, let's run it. Of course, Sonic wants to do it offline. Flash says he wants to do it online. So unfortunately, I feel like this is never going to happen. This will never happen just because, you know, by the time they actually do meet offline, this will be like 2023 or something. We'll probably never see it. Pretty sad, but uh, we almost had a money match. Now, let me get into what I want to talk about. So one of the reasons why I think people don't do money matches anymore, right? Why I feel like people don't do money matches anymore. Why I really hyped to see the Flash call out is because just this little interaction right here between these two players, the fact you're watching a video right now, you know, the fact you're watching a video on my channel, 
is that the equity's gotten too big. So back in the day when we did these money matches, you know, we were really, really small community, really, really small, you know, niche community. If you lost, the money hurt because everyone's super broke back in the day. You, you lost like 50 bucks, 75 bucks, a lot of money. For a big money match, maybe 20 people saw it. Then they wrote on SRK and like, oh man, you know, uh, Juna lost to Sonic Fox. But, you know, all the people that were on SRK, all the people that beat the events, they were also players. But now, in the current year, we've gotten too big. Earlier, I mentioned, you know, Justin took $10,000 from Roundhouse. He didn't just do that. He made a video on his ass. Look at that. Almost 42,000 views. Mad comments uh, on his video. There are mad comments on Twitter as well. Just clowning on Roundhouse. Like, what an idiot. What a moron. You know, he sucks. He'll never beat you, Justin, right here. And then the Sonic and Flash drama too. There's mad comments from dudes that don't even play the game. I promise you these guys don't play the game at all. They don't even own the game. But like Sonic, yeah, Flash sucks. Sonic, you'll destroy uh, you'll destroy him. He's trash. Nobody can beat you. Same thing on Flash's side. People that don't like Sonic. Like, yeah, Sonic's trash, Flash. You know, crush him. You can do it, blah, 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 blah. It's just getting so big that... It's not even about the money now. Losing the money, that's I don't care. If you if I lose two hundred dollars to you, I'm like, all right, that hurt. But what I'm scared about is this guy. I'm scared about Mickey Mouse right now. This is much much worse. It's like the the stakes for money matches right now are at an absolute all time high. The money is absolutely irrelevant, and like the reward for winning is also relevant. If Flash beats Sonic, Flash doesn't get anything. He's not gonna get sponsored. He's not gonna get money. He's not going to get like, uh, he's not going to be a hero. He's not going to blow up. There's nothing to gain. Maybe one day he'll get a couple couple people following, but like, oh, that was pretty cool. But you got everything to lose, man. You have everything to lose. And again, this, this player also got involved, but of course, Perfect Legend. I feel like he is the face of losing the money match right here. So Perfect Legend is a multiple EO champion, right? He's won EVO a lot of times. He got invited to old like Mortal Kombat NRS tournaments. You know, he's definitely a good, a good fighting player, but he lost one money match. My man lost one single money match to Sonic Fox, and that's it. He's 13-0, right? Perfect 13-0 legend, blah, blah, blah. And all the dudes, like everyone who's clowning on Perfect Legend, they, they don't play the game, right? They might not even be Sonic Fox, right? They just like the meme. They're like, oh, 13-0, 13-0, 13-0. You lost, you lost, you lost. Like 13-0, you got bodied right there. He's never going to live that down. The thing is, like, 13-0 is a meme, but even if we lost 10-0, it's still like, you got 10-0, you got 10-0, you got 10-0. What I want to say... Now as I get to the end of the video, the only way we're going to get money matches back in the FTC is if, if people tone it down just a little bit. I know it's hard. Trust me. I want to make the memes too. I want to make as many memes as I can. I feel like we're all Mickey Mouse. We are all Mickey Mouse right now, and it's our fault. It's our fault that money matches are happening. There's, there's nothing to gain. There's nothing to gain. Everything to lose. Oh, another the other thing too is, like as I mentioned too, a lot of the people, a lot of the Mickey Mouses don't play the game, and they, they're trash anyway. Back in the day, it was much smaller and everybody was a player. So if I lost the money match to Sonic Fox, right? And then uh, let's just say Obama. Obama is like a spectator on the side. And he said something like, oh, Juna's trash. 13-0, Juna right there. Back in the day, I could be like, Obama's right there. I'm like, money matching right now then. And it's like, oh, so I, I didn't mean that. Hold on, I take, I take it back, right? You couldn't, you couldn't just wildly just talk trash on the players and like how good they were because you could get called out you get called out just like everybody else i'm not saying like oh they, they kick your ass they stab you it's not like it wasn't like that it's just like you're talking smack play right now let's go play right now like, then you have to be like no i suck i'm sorry and then then shut the hell up now now you can't do that now that's gone but yeah, that's it sorry i just wanted to rant and ramble here so i wish this would happen i would love to see sonic fox and flash play and regardless of who won or lost i i want to say like i respect both of them for you know standing up directly issuing the challenge accepting the challenge be being willing to put themselves out there you know I I'm, I'm not trying to be funny being 100 real even again like perfect legend too everyone clowns on the guy but i mean now he's still you know sonic fox still kind of in his head but at the moment you know called called sonic works out went up played got washed lost three more times but still he went up and he challenged right that that's impressive to me and before i end it one more here this is another one because I know you guys love this guy. This man right here. He's gaining, he, he got very, very popular here. But if you remember back in the day, LTG got absolutely demolished by Lord Viscont, who didn't even play. Viscont didn't even play Street Fighter back then. But again, LTG stood up, kind of got his face, made a cloud of himself, got destroyed. But again, he stood up and he challenged, right? That, that's that to me, whoever you are, maybe not as a person. I'm not saying I like whoever you are. But anyone who's willing to stand up, challenge somebody, put themselves out there with the, you know, the risk of losing 
and being able to, to live with it and deal with it, I feel like that's a respect, respectable trait, which I would like to see more of. But I understand Mickey Mouse is too scary. He's too scary for us. I don't want him. I don't want Mickey Mouse to come after me, man. I'm scared. I can't. I'm not money match anybody. I'm just content creator. Please don't beat me up. But anyway, okay. Like I said, too long, rambling. I just want to get it off my chest. It would be great if we saw the money match. I don't expect it to happen. But anyone else, if you're watching, if you are afraid to money match, just know that there's some old people like me that uh, we do appreciate you. Even if you lose, there are some people I won't. I won't clown on you. I respect the effort because I know most people wouldn't do it. Anyway, what do you think? Do you agree? Disagree? Are you going to leave perfect legend memes in the, the comments? Why don't you go challenge him? How about that? Instead of writing a comment, why don't you go challenge him to a money match? In any game, he can beat you in, in multiple games, I bet. But uh, yeah, like always, so watch. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.